Hey everyone, today I'm going to be showing you how to set up a user account system with industry standard authorization and authentication through OAuth 2.0 and OpenID Connect using only blueprints, no C++ required. Users of your game will want to know their information is safe and secure, so why take any risks? Let AWS Cognito handle authentication and leave your users with zero worries. To get started, you'll need to go to the Unreal Marketplace and purchase this plugin, Cognito with Blueprints. But if you would be interested in also using Cognito to set up latency slash skill based matchmaking, then I would recommend purchasing this plugin, Multiplayer with Blueprints, which will allow you bl blueprint access to four different AWS services Gamelift, Cognito, Lambda, and DynamoDB. I have full documentation available that goes more in depth into each of these services and works with them in conjunction, so I would recommend checking that out. I will leave a link in the description to that documentation. The first thing you're going to need to do though is install whichever plugin you decide to purchase into your engine. If you are unsure how to do this, you can follow either my documentation or my original ga uh, Gamelift video where I go step by step showing you how to set this up. Alright, so now once you got that plugin installed into whatever engine you are using for your Unreal engine, uh, we can go ahead and get started setting up a Cognito user account system. So let's go ahead and begin. Uh, the first thing we're going to want to do is go ahead and make a new map, an empty map, like this, and go ahead and name it User Login. And then I went ahead and made a new folder called UI and made a widget, widget blueprint, just user interface, widget blueprint, Cognito IDP UI. And uh, let's go ahead and open that up. All right, so now that we got that widget blueprint opened up, I'm gonna go ahead and give you all a quick rundown of the user interface that I created here. If you wanna use the same one as me, you can go ahead and just download it from the example project. Or if you wanna create your own, maybe look, make it look a little bit prettier, you can create it yourself. But basically the one I created, it's gonna have, you're gonna start at this login panel. Uh, if, you've, if you've never logged in, you need to sign up. There's gonna be a sign up panel and then a uh, confirmation code panel for when you sign up it'll send an email to you so that you have to confirm your code and then a forgot password panel and alright let's go ahead and get into the code of how this all works so now that we're into the code I want to go ahead and mention that in future videos I will be showing you guys how to link that sign in and sign up to a Steam account or an Epic Games account or Facebook account, Amazon account, so that users don't have to sign in every single time they want to play your game. Because we all know that users don't want to have to sign in every time they load a game. But for now, I'm just, in this video, I'm just kind of showing you how Cognito works and just getting it set up. But there's a lot we can go from there. All right, but for now, let's just go ahead and get into this code and show how the whole sign in, sign up, uh, connection to the Cognito interface all works so that you can gain a better understanding of what we are doing here. Uh, the first thing you're going to need to do, if you followed my Gamelift tutorial, the previous video, or if you're using the example project uh, located where you purchased the plugin, you should already have these variables, or at least some of them. Um, but go ahead and make sure you have a game session ID of string, refresh token string, ID token string access token string, client ID string, and then a Cognito IDP object of Cognito IDP client and Cognito identity object of Cognito identity client object, all in your game instance. Then go ahead, compile, save, and make sure that that game instance is set as your default game instance in your project settings. So make sure see mine right here. I got game with server game instance. That's the one I'm using right there. So I am good to go. And now we should be able to go back into that widget blueprint and start getting into it. Back inside the Cognito IDP UI widget blueprint, we're going to go ahead and begin with an event construct. Um, we're going to check if this game instance that we that we just made is valid. Uh, if it is, we're just going to move on. If it's not, we're going to set it so that it now is the game instance. And then we're going to create a Cognito IDP object, which essentially is just going to link Cognito to your AWS credentials. If you have not made an AWS account yet, 
Uh, in my previous video, I showed you what to do and I left a Google Doc in case you were confused with step-by-step -step instructions. So just go look at that and follow that. Otherwise, just put in your access key here and your secret key here, which you get when you make your account and go ahead and put your region in. Um, once we've created that and linked it to your account, we're gonna go ahead, set it as a variable and then create an identity object, which is basically the same thing. You're gonna need both of these functions to be able to link it to your AWS account. And then we're gonna go ahead and set that as a variable as well. So then the next thing that I went ahead and did is just set this so that if you click the sign up or you click the login, it switches the interface. So when you're on that first screen, when we're back over here and we're on the login panel, if I click sign up, uh, it's gonna go to sign up. And if I am on the sign up page, and I, go, I click login, it's gonna switch back to the login panel. And that's right here. I just set the active widget to whichever one I wanted. And then I also went and set up this switch to forgot password. If you click on this forgot password, and uh, because you forgot your password, it's gonna run this function, which will send a code to your verified email. And then once it does that, it'll switch the, idget, the widget to the password panel and you'll have to type in that code to be able to reset your password. And then once you go to that forgot password page, it'll take you right here and you'll enter in that code, uh, your username and your new password and it'll make a confirm password request and then it should take you back to the login panel and you should be able to log in as long as everything was successful. All right, so now let's move on over to the sign up panel. So when you're here on the sign up panel, you go from the login and you click sign up and you're going to enter in the username you want, the password you want, uh, the password you'll be able to decide if you want specifics, like if they need to have uppercase, lowercase, different characters incognito. Uh, you'll enter in your email and create a nickname for yourself. Um, you'll enter all that in and then when you press sign up, it'll run the sign up. Uh, it'll check all your stuff, it'll make this, the sign-up request, check that everything's good. If everything went successful, it'll move you over to the confirm panel, which will send you um, a confirmation code to your email that you put in. And once you uh, put that confirmation code in that is sent to your email, it'll confirm your sign-up and then you should be a user that you'll be able to see in the Cognito interface, which we'll get to later. And then it'll go ahead and switch your active widget back to the login panel, and you'll be able to put that username and password in and be able to log in. All right, and finally, let's get to when you click on login. So when you come here and you put in your username and your password, and then click login, um, it's essentially gonna initiate the authentication. And uh, that's basically just added security that you get from Cognito using that OAuth 2.0 and uh, ID Connect. And uh, so we're just going to have some security right here. Make sure that that's successful. Run a branch. Come here. We're going to break that result and make sure the challenge name is not set. Uh, a lot of different things here. We want to make sure that it's not set. And then if that's true, we're going to set the access token, set the refresh token and set the ID token, which we're going to get from this authentication result, which is how you're going to have access into Cognito. And essentially if that's false, then we're going to try and set it again. And we're going to keep doing that over and over again until we get this challenge name to be not set and then we can give you the access token, the refresh token, and ID token. And once you get those tokens, you can open up any map you want. So that's where in the future, we'll be able to run this, you'll be able to log in, and we'll be able to connect this to some kind of account like Steam, and then we'll be able to open up another map where we can get your information and match, and then do advanced matchmaking 
uh, to group you into a group through Amazon Game Lift. Uh, so the possibilities are kind of endless with what we can do now that we have this set up, but this is all the code you're going to need to get Cognito working in general. Alright, so the next thing we're going to want to go ahead and do is make a game mode, and we're going to name it Cognito IDP Game Mode, and then we're going to want to make a player controller. We're going to name that Cognito IDP Player Controller. And go ahead and open up that game mode, and make sure you set your player controller class to that Cognito Player Controller. And then go ahead and open up that player controller, and we're going to want to create a widget. Just type in widget here, create widget, and then connect the owning player to yourself and add that UI widget that we created just a second ago to your viewport. This one right here. All right, so now let's go ahead and get Amazon Cognito pulled up and get signed into your AWS account. And then let's go ahead and click on manage user pools here. And I'm going to show you guys how to set up a user pool. So let's click here, create a user pool, name it something. I'm just going to name it Cognito Tutorial. And then I'm going to review the defaults. So in future videos, when I go to like this choose alias option, I'll be able to add custom attributes. And that's how we're going to make advanced matchmaking. Like if I wanted to make um, a level variable for different players or like they're th just to track their skill level or to make a player more important than another player. Different kinds of things we can do with data. We'll be doing that in future videos. For now, I'm just gonna do a very basic setup, so I'm not gonna do any of that. I'm just gonna leave this as all defaults. But I'm gonna go to App Clients, and I'm gonna add an App Client. And I'm gonna name it the same thing, Cognito Tutorial. And I'm gonna go ahead and disable this Generate Secret Client, but I'm gonna enable Username Password flow for app based authentication so that we're able to sign in and then I'm going to create that app client and then return to the details and I'm going to go ahead and create the pool. Um, one thing I'll go ahead and mention is yeah you're able to change the password so you can force if you want more secure password of uppercase lowercase whatever you want people to have uh, but that's about it for the pool so let's go ahead and create it All right, and now that that pool is created, let's go to this app client and let's get this app client ID. Let's go ahead and copy it. And let's go back to our Unreal project and go to your Cognito UI. And right in here where you should have already put in your access key ID and your secret key for your AWS account and your region. And then the final thing that we're gonna have to update okay so actually let's go to the game of server instance and this client ID right here for the default value we're just gonna paste that in right there and um, the way I have this set up in the UI is I have just my game of instance calling my client ID and every single spot that I put this game left and client ID, you're going to need to do the same. So anywhere it asks for the client ID, just run that and set it up like that. All right, so now that we got the client ID put in, let's go ahead and sign up and log in. Let's go to sign up, put in a username. get our verification code copy it and log in cool and then put back in your username and password and boom we're in the game and now if we went back to 
incognito we'd be able to see in our users and groups if we refresh there I am and this is where we'll be able to store user data that will allow us to make advanced matchmaking later on so that's pretty cool but yeah we're inside the game we can play around and we have successfully uploaded that user to Cognito we have also created a plugin that can be paired with the account system and user data with blueprints that allows you to set up advanced matchmaking for your multiplayer game just like AAA games For Honor and Fortnite with only blueprints that plugin is called Scalable Multiplayer with Only Blueprints plugin, but if you haven't purchased either of those two, we also sell a package of both of them at a discount called Scalable Multiplayer and Advanced Matchmaking. So if you want your game to have the ultimate scalable multiplayer experience with advanced matchmaking based on skill or latency, I would recommend purchasing this plugin. I am working on creating tutorial videos right now to show you guys how to set up a full matchmaking system and those videos should be released shortly. Also, if you want to only purchase the AWS Cognito plugin for now, and then later decide you want to integrate GameLift as well, just buy Scalable Multiplayer with, with Blueprints once you have already purchased account system and user data with Blueprints, and send us an email and we will give you access to the plugin that contains both. And I will provide a link to where you can purchase these plugins in the description below.